What's up everyone, for the win attached, you here, you know what it is. It is day two of BlizzCon of 2018, and today is not that much information compared to day one. As you guys know, last night I released about 19 to 20 videos on every single game that was basically not just Blizzard only. I even released some Destiny type content as well because it is on the Battle.net app, and it was also some information was released and leaked yesterday. So, pretty much, I cover content uh, this weekend. On Diablo, StarCraft, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, and Heroes of the Storm. And any other game that gets released, or any other game that has some information for us that gets announced at BlizzCon. Such as, now Warcraft 3, getting remastered, as well as a non-Blizzard Entertainment game, Destiny, which is on the Battle.net app. But today, we got some more information to share with you guys, and uh, it's basically the compiled information from some of the key things that were not really announced from my videos yesterday. So, you're not going to see no trailers, you're not going to see any other, like, cool, super duper cinematics. Um, it's just basically me rambling on and giving you guys information with some pictures and stuff on uh, some of the key things that were not really specifically announced in the actual cinematics of the trailers um today as you guys can tell based off of the title and you're going to start seeing pictures uh, appearing on the screen we've got ash it is a new hero that was announced and this is new content that is going to be announced for overwatch i released a couple of overwatch videos yesterday so if you guys want go ahead and check it out in our overwatch playlist at youtube.com slash for the one Hachi plays um but yeah let's go ahead and dive on in to what Ash has for us in store and what she's all about. So, starting off with her background story before we get into the overview. Um, biography wise, her full name is Elizabeth Caledonia Calamity Ash. Her age is 39. Now, I would have never have guessed her age being that much because, to be honest, she does not look like she's 39 years old. She probably looks like she's 29. But, anyways, great job for her. Occupation. She is a thief and a gang leader. Um, she was in correlations and in team with McCree back in the day. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what she does now full time. She's a goddamn robber. Uh, base of operations is the Deadlock Gorge in Arizona, USA. I did not know that was true. Uh, but it is Route 60, near Route 66, I'm assuming. Um, affiliation is the Deadlock Gang, which is the gang that she actually leads. So, her main rule is my business, my rules. It's basically whatever she does goes. Uh, Ash is the ambitious and calculating leader of the Deadlock Gang and a respected figure in the criminal underworld. Born into a wealthy family, which we did see in her origin cinematic, Ash grew up surrounded by privilege. Her parents were highly sought after business consultants and coaches for powerful CEOs around the world. Though her parents paid little attention to her, mostly leaving her in the care of the family's Omnic butler, Jaboy Bob, they ensured that Ash had every opportunity to succeed. But a chance meeting with a local ruffian named Jesse McCree, aka your boy McCree, and an impromptu string of crimes committed together opened her eyes to her true calling, which is basically being simply a thief and a gang leader. The satisfaction of outwitting her targets and the thrill of getting away with it set her on the outlaw path. Um, so basically, she was born in a wealthy family. Parents paid little attention to her, but they gave her everything for her to succeed. Um, the, her omnic butler, Bob, was the one that was basically her caretaker and would do anything for her to make sure that she succeeds. Sadly, her parents not being there was her basically what created her to become who she is. Um, along with other three founders of the Deadlock Gang, Ash started to make her name for herself with a bigger and more extravagant heist. The Deadlock Gang's rapid rise to prominence put them at odds with the other criminal organizations in the American Southwest. The encounters often became violent. After years of skirmishes and bloodshed, Ash called the heads or the heeds of the major groups together. Ash saw that potential to grow the influence of all. She used what she'd learned from her parents' businesses to uh, bring order to these groups. Her proposal was that the gangs could work together, or at least not work against each other. Um, her principles, keep your word, don't work with the law, respect each other's territory, and always punish betrayal. 
No longer having to focus her energies on squabbles with the other gangs, Ash is now writing her name across the American Southwest with a string of auda audacious heights and operations that has put her at top of authorities, most wanted lists, and cemented her legacy as an outlaw legend, which we kind of saw in her um, uh, reunion uh, cinematic that was released as well, which you guys can find out on our channel. Uh, we also got the overview of her, uh, gameplay overview. Uh, she is going to be a damaged character. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to playing her. Her weapon looks super sick, which is the Viper. Um, but Ash quickly fires her rifle from the hip or uses her weapon's aim down sights to line up a, uh, high damage shot. She blasts enemies by throwing dynamite and her coach gun packs enough punch to put some distance between her and her foes. And Ash is not alone as she can call on her Omnic Alley, Bob, B-O-B, to join the fray when the need arises. So, abilities. You get the Viper, which is her main gun, um, which is her main weapon, I should just say. Ash's semi-automatic rifle, and uh, fires quick shots, or she can use her aim down sights uh, for a more damaging precise shot. So, she does have, um, what you might call it, scope on her semi-automatic. Uh, dynamite is another ability that she has. It, Ash throws an explosive that detonates after a short delay or immediately when actually shot by her. Um, the explosion from dynamite also lights enemies on fire, dealing damage over time. So she can throw it on the ground and not do anything with it, and people can actually just run away from it and not take any damage. Or she can throw it and actually shoot at it and make sure it explodes right away. So it's pretty cool. Coach Gun. Very similar to Lucio's um, boop, but... It also knocks her back. So Ash blasts enemies in front of her, knocking them away and propelling herself backwards for added mobility. B.O.B. is the ultimate. Ash summons her trusted Omnic sidekick, Bob, who charges forward and knocks enemies into the air, which is the first enemy that he hits, and then lays down suppressing fire with his arm cannons. Now, Bob is technically a seventh hero for your team. He can be uh, damage boosted. He can be healed. He can be slept dart, which just makes him pretty much useless. Um, he's pretty much a seventh hero on your team that is controlled by the user, um, basically the computer. But other than that, that's pretty much Ash. Uh, what do you guys think about the new hero, or the new heroes, I should say? Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for some more BlizzCon 2018 content, and stay tuned for actual Ash gameplay, because I'm really, really looking forward to playing as Ash in the game of Overwatch. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.